Connor McGregor, 19 and 2 with 17 KOs, the new featherweight champion of the world under police investigation uh, to what appears to be a submachine gun in a photo. Enter the arena on cut the Don Juan Banks alongside Tommy Razorstein live from South Korea. We're going to get into this article right now. This is breaking news. The Bleacher Report. Anyone who follows UFC featherweight champion Conor McGregor has seen him post some ridiculous things. But while he spends most of his time showing off his luxury cars, one of his recent posts on Instagram piqued the interest of the police. According to the Irish Independent, the picture shows a masked man, possibly Conor McGregor, based on the enormous watch holding what appears to be a submachine gun out of a window of a BMW i8. You can see the photo here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this photo. This is Conor McGregor. Ireland has strict gun laws, which would make a photo of anyone, including McGregor, wielding what appears to be an automatic weapon, a cause for alarm for authorities. Per the independent, a guard of spokesperson said, we are investigating the circumstances under which the photo was taken. Guard I from Crumblin are investigating. That's it. Fans likely don't need to worry about McGregor getting hauled off on gun charges. As discussed by BloodyElbow.com, Lewis McKeever, the gun strongly resembles an airsoft pellet gun McGregor has, spot, has been spotted with in the past. Wow, this most likely isn't welcome news for Team McGregor. They still have some big things on the horizon. Last night, Bleacher reports, Jeremy Botter broke the news that McGregor is set to shake things up um, in the world of MMA by facing UFC lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos, 25-7, and seven, in a lightweight title match. He has this on his Twitter. Breaking multiple sources confirm UFC will, will soon announce UFC 197 for March 5th in Las Vegas. Dos Anjos versus Conor McGregor. Home versus Misha Tate. The fight gives McGregor the opportunity to become the first person to hold two UFC titles at once. The only man to come close was BJ Penn, who faced GSP in a welterweight title match while the, holding the lightweight title at UFC 94. That in mind, the text on the offending Instagram post which reads, put the fight game in the bag and step away from your vehicle, takes on something new, takes on a new meaning. And then what we just found out just hours ago, Tommy Regenstein, Conor McGregor has apologized for using the gun. Um, we're going to that right now. I apologize for having the air soft in public, McGregor said. I was simply rehearsing for a potential upcoming film role. You're live from South Korea. You have had your discrepancies with Conor McGregor and the way that he talks, the way that he acts. He pulls out what appears to be a submachine gun, but now we're finding out it possibly is an air soft pellet gun. Razorstein, this breaking news. Wow. There are about... Four different stories right there. <laughs> Let's just start with Conor McGregor and this air assault rifle, all right? Now, remember when we talked about John Jones and there's possible red flags and there's bullshit and we kind of ignored it and I was like, hopefully this is nothing? Well, this is what I'm kind of concerned about and nervous about with uh, Conor McGregor is possible red flags that are going to come up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Things like this where it's like, uh oh, I hope this isn't a problem. I hope he doesn't end up like a John Jones where he's freaking crazy. But I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt like a Gabe Jones, and I'm going to say, nah, 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 it's all right. Now, Jones, you know, screwed me over because there's a lot of times where I was like, all right, nah, it's cool, it's fine, there's no problem here, and he ended up being a fucking psychopath. Hopefully, Conor McGregor, you know, doesn't prove me wrong. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to say there was some kind of mistake or some kind of incident, and that he's not a psychopath, and he, he knows what he's doing, even though he says all a bunch of shit and talks a bunch of trash and hypes up his fight, he's not a complete psychopathic John Jones. Yes. yes. So... 
Next thing is, I really wanted to see him fight Nate Diaz. That would have been the fight that I want to see. Just shit talking between the two of them would be crazy. I don't know how he can keep them together in the same room to make have them you know argue with each other. I just don't see it. He wouldn't be able to sit there like Jose Otto sat there and took a you know an onslaught verbal beating and get in touch like he did. Nate Diaz would find him in his hotel room and start fighting him in his hotel room or fight him in the in the parking lot somewhere. He wouldn't, you know, just take it. He would want to, you know, start with Connor. It would be so wild to see the lead up for that fight. Instead, they're giving him the double belt possible fight, which is nuts. They're going to give him a shot at another title. He already had a title fight. Now they're going to give him a shot at another title. You know, the weight class above him where he's been talking shit to everyone and he's talking shit to the, the weight class above him, which is... Oh, man. Well, well, you know, Anos, Anos, Jesus Christ, the guy's a killer. He he's took a out... Killer. Huh? He's a killer. He just beat D D Donald Cerrone 28-7 in the first... Round he murdered him live on Fox. I, I I spoke about this with you before, but let me go to this gun thing real quick. Uh, McGregor, um, first and foremost, out in public with a mask on. I know he's a young guy, but that he had to know that would be interpreted as a, a sub machine gun. Uh, people was going to say otherwise. And let me tell you something. Like you said, Razorstein, anytime someone does something like this, there are red flags and they're going to be skeptics. Okay? They're going to be skeptics. McGregor wants to be the face of the UFC, which I believe apparently he is after Rousey was knocked out against home. This is not good. This is not good. He's going up to face Rafael Dos Anjos. You said that you felt that um, he could beat those Andros only in Ireland. I, I mean, I give you that. For I'm, the, I'm hearing you out on that, but I don't believe he's going to beat those Andros. I think he, the train stops. The train is about to stop at UFC 197 if this, these reports are true that he will face him. You cannot beat Conor McGregor in Ireland. I don't care who you are. They, it's the fight's not. I don't over. care who you are. The Irish fans will rip you apart before you even step in the octagon. It's crazy how well, not. How, how did you come up with that conclusion? Verbal beating that you're going to you take come up with that conclusion? Step in the octagon? What? How do you come up with that conclusion? Oh my God! Did you see that 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 fight that they had oh. with that in the last one in Ireland? Joe Rogan was saying it was like louder than a rock concert. You know, the, the decimal level anything. were louder than a rock concert inside the octagon. At the stadium, there, it was louder than uh, – it was as loud as like when planes touch down. That's freaking crazy. Conor McGregor said you could like feel it in the air because – the so decimal what? was so freaking much, so freaking loud that you could feel it like a He's humming buzz. So silent after he gets his ass whipped. Yeah, but that's going to go on for days before you even step inside the octagon. That's the hard part. Well, listen, uh, this fight's not going to be Remember, many a time you, you were right about this, Don. And I went and I saw Eddie Alvarez fight in Philadelphia. And you were like, dude, Eddie Alvarez is going to win in Philadelphia. Remember that time, Don? I hear you what you're saying with that, but I'm not. I, I'm not I'm you got to step into Philadelphia, you know, and, and fight the opponent. And I, ha and I had money on the opponent. Um, Roger Huerta. Remember Roger Huerta? I had money on Roger Huerta. And you're like, no way, dude. He's going to take an on-sword verbal beating at the weigh-in. And I went to the weigh-in, and I even talked to Roger Huerta. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And he looked rattled. And I was like, shit. He looked rattled. And I actually was like complimenting him, telling him a great fight he had against – um, uh, forget his name. Eddie Hours and Ryan. Geico Caveman, motherfucking crazy. Oh, Quay Quay Guida. Quay Guida. And um, – Roger was like, oh, okay, yeah, thanks, dude. And I was like, uh-oh, this guy does not sound right. He doesn't sound like the man that was trying to get more money in his UFC contract. He looked 
you know, little rattled, dude. I wonder where he is at. He needs to appear on that show. Where are they now? It's, it's tough to walk into Philadelphia. It's impossible to walk into Ireland. Okay, now that's and like saying Connor that McGregor. Titanic is impossible to sing. Um, Connor, Connor, let me tell you something. Okay, I'll give you this. This is as much as I'm going to give you, Razor Stein. I'll give him more of an edge. Okay, I'll give him more of a chance if it did take place in Ireland. I think McGregor is living the fast life movie roles, spending abundance of money, coming out with the guns. This always leads to something bad. Adrian Broner, a fighter, he can't he he posts guns and he he doesn't he's not focused. He loses fights. I'm not gonna say Conor McGregor won't come in um focused or not. We haven't seen him not focused yet in the UFC, but it's a first time for everything. This is the biggest challenge of his career. If he thinks he's just gonna step in the octagon and do what he did to Jose Aldo in 13 seconds, he is dead wrong. OK, he might be using that gun on himself. And I like Conor McGregor. You know how much I like him. I, you know, and I love Frankie Edgar and, and I, I, I'll give him people say, well, Frankie Edgar will whip his ass. You know what? I, I, I give Conor that fight. I give Conor that fight. This is a fight I cannot give him. I mean, I, he would have to fight in Ireland. I can't give him against Rafael Dos Anjos. But this gun, this gun, it's an airsoft pellet gun. I mean, you, you're saying right now, Razor Stein, th this is a, a, a red flag. Yeah, it's a possible red flag. It is a red flag. You can't it say it is possible. a red flag. It is a red People flag. lose then at, in his next fight. Yeah. Yeah. The, Either it's a red flag or it's not. Fight. And it's a red flag. So you, you, you're basically the only way you give Conor McGregor the fight over Dos Anjos is if he fights in Ireland. Yeah, only so, in I Ireland. That. I respect that because you're, you're basically giving it to him. Because you're Irish. No, 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 no. I ain't playing it like that, man. No, I'm saying like the Irish fans are the craziest fans. <laughs> and like to walk in the Ireland, okay. you're going to take a verbal beating, Don. I mean, you're going to take such an onslaught beating. As soon as the plane touches down and you go to your hotel, the people at the you know, hotel lobby are going to say, oh, hi, fuck you, suck a dick. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And you're like, what? You're like, oh, you're fighting Conor McGregor, are you? Well, fuck you. And you're, and you're going to get that like for two weeks straight everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, it's going to be like, you know, you're, you're Dallas Cowboys and you're playing in the Philadelphia. You know what I mean? It's like the old vet stadium and there's like no rules and shit. It's like that every Your moment. Stadium. Wow, that is one hell of a stadium. Mm hmm. And you got to beat, you know, the best Eagles team we've ever had. And like you're a shit fucking Cowboys team. I like your analogy with vet stadium, veteran stadium because. Anytime a team had to go to Veterans Stadium, it was one hell of a uh, a game. And the Eagles always had that um that advantage. Remember the turf? And it was oh, like yeah, just, it was it terrible. Was like like, was like in the ground. It was like carpet over concrete. <laughs> <laughs> well, what they Stein, any last words about this? McGregor has. Do, do you do you say McGregor's a young guy? Will he learn from this mistake and this won't happen again, or will this continue? I'm gonna give him a benefit of the doubt, and I hope hopefully he doesn't prove me wrong and become some kind of crazy psychopathic like John Jones. But I'm gonna say it's just a red flag. It doesn't mean shit, and he's gonna control himself. I agree with you. I think it's a, a red flag. I, I give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to condemn him over this. He's a young guy. I hope he doesn't uh, make a mistake like this again because it, it is taken in a negative way and it's all over social media. For Tommy Razorstein and D. Don Juan Banks, peace out. Peace out. Give me a second here.